this fell out. I'll keep it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right. Yes. See what your person wants to say. I wish you knew just how special you are to me. It kills me not to be able to tell you. You amaze me with your compassion and kindness through this time apart. I promise I'll make this up to you. There's a lot that they're hiding from you. And it's not like they're keeping a secret or whatever. It, it, it's, it's, okay. I can't even get out what I'm trying to say. But it's like, the way that they feel, it's like they cannot express the way that they're feeling to you. They can't. So your person can't express the way that they're feeling to you. But something is going on. Oh, okay. I'm dealing with a stalker. It's a dangerous situation. I don't want... I'm dealing with a stalker. It's a dangerous situation I don't want you to be involved with. As soon as I feel I have a handle on it and feel safe, I'll let you know. There is something or someone like they're saying there's a stalker here, but there is someone here that your person is either hiding from or... I don't know. They just can't tell you how they feel. They can't express the way that they're feeling. They can't be around you. And this is because there is something in, in their life that is stopping them. It's not that they, they love you and, okay, I'm just keeping my feelings a secret. There's, there is something. There's a barrier. There's a barrier. Could be this person, whoever is watching the, um, your person here. Or whatever. But just know that as soon as this thing is cleared up, they can definitely speak what's on their mind. All right. Now let me see what the overall energy is. Just kind of confirms everything. I'm still trying to get over my ex and related wounds. Please give me space while I heal and know once I lick my wounds, I'll come to you properly healed. I've really been through the ringer. So there is this person in your person's energy. And it's, they have not gotten over the pain, the hurt, the sadness that they're experiencing. This is exactly why they cannot come to you and tell you everything that's going on. Give me a message here, please. What is going on? Six of Pentacles. And you have the Ace of Wands. So it seems this person does want a new start with you. They do want something to balance out here with you. They do want to put in that energy. They do want to give you back, like, whatever energy you've been giving to them. But they can't right now. They can't. So this person needs to find that strength to do that. Okay. All right, Father God. Still like a whole lot, huh? Please stop doubting our connection. I can sense it and it's making me doubt too. Just have faith and know I'll reach out to you when divine timing dictates and know sooner. Trust me, trust life more. So keep that doubt out of your this mind. mess. My least favorite card in this deck. Oh my God. I've chosen to date someone else right now. So please respect that and give me time and space to see what I truly want. If we're truly destined, I'll see that clearly as I explore this. No matter what's happening, no matter what's going on, everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. Have faith about the situation. Have faith about the perfect time. All right. I guess that's my favorite, my least favorite message in the deck. <laughs> I honestly think someone's doing black magic on me or something. If you know how to fix that, could you please? I just feel blocked at every turn. It's aggravating. So this block energy is definitely what's surrounding your person. And I'm sensing like it's coming mostly from their thoughts, from their mind. Right. And there needs to be a lot of praying here, a lot of praying to release your person from this um, trapped energy. I don't know if you, whatever you've been thinking, 
there is some sort of like stop. That's the best word I can use. Stop energy. Or stuck energy. Whatever you've been thinking. It's like most times you are in this energy like, yeah, things are definitely happening and it's going to work out. But sometimes you come across this little energy. Not a lot. This little energy like, what if? What if? What if? What if? What if it does? What if it does not? So there has to be some praying here. And it has to do with your person. To set your person free. Because they are stuck in their mind. All right, Father God, what's going on here, please? You have the Tower and the Eight of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so there's definitely something here that needs to end, that needs to go, that is trying to stick around. Like somebody's refusing this change or fighting this change. Something is there trying to stop this change from happening. But once that happens, again, yeah, your person will definitely be free with that Eight of Swords in the reverse. Get out of their mind. That's what they need to be free from. So I don't know if you've been stuck in your mind here, but you need to get out of your mind as well. Whatever it is. Okay, and I'm seeing a number for you, 222. Two, two. So please look that up and see what he's trying to say. The star. Praying. Making that wish, healing, paying attention. I'm really getting like a, I'm getting like a, a little subtle feeling. I don't know if you're coming out of these blocks and you are coming out of um, being in your head. But it's like you are finding your true self. You are seeing who you truly are. You are being guided in the right direction. But it seems your person needs to be as well. It's like, it's like keep doing that. Keep being you. Keep working on you because that's what like is going to kind of help your person to get out of their head here. Four of Cups. So that's one of the big reasons why they may have um, refused your connection because of their own thoughts, their own mind, and, and the choices that they needed to make in order to be balanced in their life. So this person has a lot that they need to work on. They have a lot to work on in regards to their finances. This person could be, um, I don't know if they're stuck at work a lot or they're a workaholic or they just like or they're just putting in that work. I'm just getting a whole lot about work. Oh, Lord. Okay, let's read them. Here's your message. I wish you knew just how special you are to me. It kills me not to be able to tell you. You amaze me with your compassion and kindness through this time apart. I promise I'll make this up to you. I, I'm having commitment issues right now because I doubt my ability to make good choices and I'm afraid to go through yet another breakup. I have to learn to trust myself more. Wow, so this person has a lot of issues they need to tell you about. I know if I continue to ignore you, I could lose you. You'll hear from me within a relatively short time. I think of you and want you just as much as you want me. Trust me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. Yay. <laughs> I want to make love to you like you've never experienced before. I want intimacy in every way possible with you. I just want us to know each other like no one else before us has ever known. Oh, Lord. So this person had a lot on their mind that they wanted to tell you. Oh, ding, ding. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess that's true. I'm with a toxic partner right now, but you're on my mind a lot. I will reach out to you once I've set myself free completely of this burden and can give you the good news. Mm -hmm. All right, Father God, give me a message in regards to what's going on. 
you got the five of cups so this person is in some deep 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 regret here and the justice because yeah because something's not right something's not right no wonder they are saying forgive me no wonder they're telling you that they love you and that they're sorry because this person may have broken your heart and turned away from you here. And trust me, they're in deep regret about that. They're in deep regret. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so they have to set themselves free first. But they did say that they're with a toxic partner or whatever. But just know that they're setting themselves free. So that's the big reason here why they may have turned away from you, whether they told you about it or they didn't. But that could be one of the reasons why they turned their back on you. But they're very, very sad right now. They're, they're very, very sad. They're very sad. They regret walking away from you. They regret it. But like they said, they're asking you for that forgiveness and they're letting you know how sorry they are. Okay? This person may be having that commitment issue because they may have been with somebody that destroyed their heart. Maybe that's one of the reasons they ran as well. Because whatever relationship they were in before, it, it was heart shattering. It was heart shattering. And they were scared of being in another commitment. But at their very first message, you are special to them. And it kills them not to tell you. So they are holding this, um, like they're making this protective barrier over their heart. It's their heart that you're trying to protect. So even though they, they run away from you, even though they broke your heart and not telling you anything and just walked away or whatever. It's just because of their past experience. And they're just asking for your forgiveness for it. Okay. All right, and I do hope that helps you.